Hello guys, my name is Jean Saint Charles, and today I'm going to do a small tutorial. Right, so I'm going to show you like the Iris Online tool and show you the different plugins that go with them. Um, so whenever you go to Windows and Iris Online, you have this Iris Online window. Uh, you can dock it if you want somewhere, or you can just leave it open. I prefer leaving it open and put it like in the second window. Um, so if we go here, the first uh, plugin you have, you have like the database plugin. This is, these are your configuration to connect to your MySQL database. And something I want to show you, this one only has two tabs. Uh, but if you go here, most of them will have like a help file telling you exactly what the plugin does. Uh, if I go to the second one here, uh, same here, only two tabs. Uh, these are the three servers I'll have right now on the cloud and I could do like a restart directly from the panel here or you can do the same or more management if you go directly on your A panel. If I go down to option choice, now I have like the ability to create a new option choice or to check the one I already have in the database. I'll just let you know this is a fresh installed database so these are the things that are there by default. So if I go down, you have uh, different option types. So these are your items. Uh, you can have the weapon type if you want to add new weapon types. You can go down the list. Here are your classes. I will not have elf. Let's say in my game, I could just do elf here and save data. So that's the new arrays that I've put. Same goes with class. If I want to have a new class, let's say I'm going to do uh, clerics. So it's really straightforward. You just need to build out what you need exactly for each option choice. Same goes with the stats for all your characters. And you have the currency group. So I only have gold right now. If I want to add like more currency, like silver, copper, I can do it here. Uh, these, I'll make tutorials for each of these plugins. I'm just going really fast over everything. So you know what's in the plugin. Game settings. If I go here. Uh, these are the number of bags that your character starts with, so four bags, and each bag have a default size of 16 slots. Uh, Mob dead XP means that when you die, uh, you'll get experience from killing mobs. The corp loops duration, so that means how much time um, your corpse gonna stay on the ground. Uh, right now it's 120 seconds. Uh, by the way, all the options, if you put minus one, means like indefinite. So that's gonna, your corpse gonna stay on the ground like internal, eternally. Uh, the safe loot, so that means like after I die, I have 60 seconds to go back to my corpse or anybody can loot my corpse. Once again, if I put minus one here, means that like my corpse is safe all the time. And this is the ID of the the corpse you want to use, so it could be a corpse, or if you want to put a gravestone when you die, you just put the ID of the item that you want your corpse to be replaced it right, right here. And like I told you, I'm going to do more tutorials about those. Instance are a different part of your world, so right now we only have like one main world. I'll show you how to create uh, more worlds. Also now, just so you know, the water height goes by instance. So it's not like before in the Iris car, it's like really per instance. So that's pretty cool. Uh, accounts, uh, pretty straightforward. I have no accounts because it's the first database. But when you want to create accounts, you need to log into the game first. And then you'll have access to the list of accounts that have been created. Uh, tasks I'll go over a little bit later. It's mostly for adding tasks for quests. Mobs is pretty straightforward also. Uh, you can create a new mobs. We have an existing mobs in the default world, the evil princess. So these are the information about this mob. Loot table, same thing, pretty straightforward. If I check, there's an example loot table here. 10% uh, chance when I kill an attached table to a mob. So 10% chance that it's gonna drop one princess one and 100% chance it's gonna drop one wooden stick. Merchant table, this, they work the same, you attach them to a mob in the world. So the mob becomes a merchant and 
here what it has on them. Uh, like I was telling you, minus one means infinite. So he has infinite Woodson stick, Pink Star, Princess One, and uh, Brown ho Horse Whistle. If you would want to, your merchant only have a specific amount. So if I put 10 here, that means if I attach that merchant table, he would only have 10 of Pink Star on him, but I'm limited on the rest. Factions. Um, these are the factions you have in your game. And you have the group. The group is, example, you have human, and that's how I would put like another one called uh, elf faction. I could put them in the group of aliens. So they would be part of one group together. Quests is how to make quests in the game. I don't think there's a default plan, but it's pretty straightforward. It says what to do exactly. And in uh, another tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to add tasks to your quests and everything. Uh, dialogue is mostly for dialogue tests. You want to have like when does the dialogue is going to happen, if there's a prerequisite before uh, this dialogue appears and everything. Patrol path, uh, you do them in game directly. Uh, right now, you cannot use them in this plugin, it will be handled later on. But I'll show you also how to create path later on in another tutorial. Uh, the mob spawn data. So these are like all the information. So as you can see, like how many milliseconds the corpse respawns, how much time and everything. And you attach that to a mob directly. So items are all the items you have in your database. So if you create a new one, you need to say what kind of item it is. And this is a cool button that's going to regenerate all the prefabs for you. So if at one point you make a mistake and you know what happened, just delete it, delete everything in your vessels folder under the prefab for items and just generate them all. If I check what I have already here, I think I have like the pink star, the wooden stick, princess one, and one horse whistle. And if I go to princess one, you can say I have item subtype. So these were made in the game options earlier. Uh, sorry, in the uh, option choice earlier. Currency. You can have multiple currency in the game. And there's a currency uh, conversion options also here. So as an example, we could have one gold converts to 10 silver piece and extra direction. So you can have like multiple conversion directly done here. Crafting recipes. Um, Pretty straightforward how to do that. This is a 4x4 four four, uh, block size you have, so you can create your recipes here. The build object is when you want to do uh, different stages of building. So you could like have, well, when I place one object, it takes that much items for it to be to stage one. If I want to go to stage two, I add another stage, and then it needs that much more like wood and rocks and others to go to stage two and I can add as many stages as I want to my build option. Skills. So I'll go really like really fast forward, but just like there's like two skills right now in the game uh, by default and then you would need to fill all those information. Same goes with abilities. So we have like the, the abilities that goes with the skills. Effects. So you have a lot of different effects you can have. And I just want to see if there's any. Yeah, so these are the effects that you can do. And they're attached to abilities. Uh, the chord effects. Not complicated, but like uh, it's what. It's what it's going to do, like what the character is going to do and what's going to be sent over the server for everybody else to see when you, let's say, do an attack effect. It's going to do a standard melee attack. So that's an effect that everybody's going to see. So it syncs to all the players. The stats. So these are the stats for your game. So if I go see what I have as stats right now. 
So I have those 15 different stats. So let's say my, ha my health is based on the vitality stat. And you can add links to those stats also. Damage. Uh, you have to crash damage. Pierce and Slash. That's the three that are right now in the database. Player character setup means like we have human or elf like I just added at the beginning of the video and this for creating one so like you need to create a template for each of them so right now if I check here I have human warrior and human mage but for sure if I want to use the elf I need to do an elf warrior give the stats I want and do save data and then after a couple of seconds I'll have like my elf warrior here and I have to do that for each of the combination of class and race or more like race and class for each different options I have. A level XP, so how many XP you need to get to the next level. So I think it goes from 1 to 7 right here in the database by default. Vessels node, I'll make a full tutorial on how to use those. Uh, these are all your nodes in one scene, actually. Instance object, well, go really fast over it, but these are like all the different uh, uh, instances that you can have, like uh, objects you can have in your instance. What they do, uh, these can be interactive, uh, interactive objects. It means something you click on it and it does something, could like trigger a quest, could finish quest. A region so whenever you get into a collider it would do uh, it would trigger something in that instance and graveyards are actually respawn points so you when you die and you respawn it would respond to the nearest graveyard that is part of your faction and then we have nav mesh and that will be another tutorial also uh, nav mesh or Things that you send to the servers so that players cannot cheat and go through walls and everything. And there'll be a much bigger tutorial on all of these plugins. That was just going over everything that you have as different plugins in the Adobe's online. So once again, my name is Jean-Claude Deschal. Hope you enjoyed this short video. And I'll see you soon with new videos. Please leave comments in the section below. If you have any question, you can always find me on Skype or on the Adibis forum. Well, thank you very much for being part of this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.